welcome! My name is Katherine Kuchewski and I am just going to pre-warn you there might be a teensy bit of swearing in this video just because of the book that I'm going to review it has a swear word in the title. It's all throughout the book. So there's going to be some swear words on this video. If you are feeling stressed, overwhelmed about your life and obligations and you want a good laugh, well this book is for you. In my last few videos, I talked about this book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. But now, I present to you The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck by Sarah Knight. How to stop spending time you don't have with people you don't like doing things you don't want to do. A no fucks giving guide. So the whole idea behind the KonMari method is that once you declutter your house, then you will be left with only things you love and it will help you focus on what you truly want to do in life. Well, Sarah's method is very similar in that it deals with the mental clutter and too many obligations and spending time with the things that you actually want to do with the people you actually want to spend time with. Sarah's method is about empowering you to feel free to be yourself, to live your best life by not pretending to care about things that you don't. Stop conforming to the world. You know, there's a saying, let me be me and you be you. I think this is such a, an important point that you get more and more as you get older. And I really want to add to this that the more I became myself, the more people I attracted that liked that. And then all of a sudden I had this amazing group of friends around me. This took some time, but I got rid of those energy vampires in my life. You know, those people that are just always bringing me down and always arguing with me. But it's okay, people change. You slowly, slowly weed them out of your life. It doesn't have to be a drastic thing. You just spend less time with them and more time with other people that you actually like spending time with. Things change, people change. In the book, the equation is simple. The more time you spend on the things and people that you don't like, the less time you have for the things and people that you love leading to a fulfilling life. Make a list of the things that you do give a fuck about and that you don't give a fuck about and spend more time on the things that you do. You have to use this all-important word called no. No, 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 no. I don't want to. I don't have time. I can't afford it. No. If you feel shame or guilt, then you are way too worried about what other people think. Guess what? You have no control over that. I was really, really bad at this for years because in Polish culture, they care way too much about what other people think. It is still a process that I have to get over more and more. But I just started realizing bit by bit that people don't care about my screw ups or about my little quirks just like I don't care about theirs. And slowly over the years, I started doing little experiments, like being out on the dance floor. I would dance a little bit funnier and see if anybody noticed. Most of the time, nobody really cared. And if they did, most of the time, they are just laughing at it. Other experiments I would do is that I joined Toastmasters. And in Toastmasters, there's a portion where you do impromptu speaking. So you have to make up a speech in two minutes. And in this, I started experimenting about being more vocal or trying to be a bit more expressive. And instead of being laughed at about it, people liked it because people enjoyed someone stepping out of their box and also being a little bit more authentic. People really enjoy that. So over the years, I just keep doing these kind of experiments to push the boundaries and see how much more comfortable how much more comfortable I can be like in front of other people and doing that sort of stuff. And I feel like one of the most important things uh, for leading a really authentic and amazing life is to be self-aware about the things that 
are important to you, that you value, that you like, that you don't like. If you don't have this basic self-awareness about the things that you really love and that make you tick and that you really care about, well then how can you live this amazing life? This book is hilarious. I definitely recommend it. It's a bit on the negative side because it has fuck in the title and there's a lot of like no fucks giving about this and this and this that most people actually do care about. But I still recommend it. It is a fast read and is something that you can get a laugh out, but there's some really valuable information throughout the books. In the next video, I'm going to talk about Sarah Knight's five strategies for not giving a fuck. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. See you next time. And I forgot what the next thing is. So Sarah's me method, blah, blah, blah. So Sarah's method is about being feel, why can't I say that first word? Feeling free, free. Okay.